This static image assessment is a good way of preparing for your first NCEA internal assessment next year. Watch this presentation to get some handy tips on how to do a good static image. This is your checklist. Number one, choose a theme from your film that, that you could use in a visual representation. For example, clash of cultures, stereotypes or gender inequality. Number two, you need a quote that links to your theme. Number three, use your devices to create images but do not just Google images from the film. A pre-existing photo with no adaptation is no good. And number four, the final product will be on A3 card. You will be assessed on the following criteria. How clear your idea or theme is communicated to your audience and the use of verbal and visual techniques. Now your verbal technique is your quote, so choose that carefully and even consider your font size and colour. Visual techniques can include colour, image size and placement, how you divide your page up, neatness and accuracy is also important. Now would be a good time to pause and have a look at the connotations of colours. Choose your colours for your background very carefully. You should be just about ready to start planning your static image, so start thinking about images, colours, fonts and symbols that could link back to your theme. Choose your quote carefully and now I'm going to give you a chance to look at a few exemplars. In exemplar number one, the chosen theme is Clash of Cultures. This can be seen in the background with a few images that relate to Jess's Indian culture as well as the bright background. The two cards reflect Jess and her Indian heritage as well as Jess and her love of football. The short quote is Don't play with your future and of course play is reinforced by the idea of playing a card game. The central three images are from a Google search where the hands are a photo of the student's hands. So this student has manipulated the images quite well. In the second exemplar, the theme is again clash of cultures. The page is clearly divided into British versus Indian culture with the flags used as background. The central image is of a girl split between two cultures. The arms on either side show that she is being pulled in two opposite directions. The idea of being in two minds is reflected in the quote, Whose life are you living, Jess? Don't stick anything down until you are thoroughly happy with what your image looks like. Check with your teacher before you finalise your product. The school will provide you with scissors, glue stick and coloured paper, but you need to bring your A3 card as well as anything else you think you might need to make a good static image.